Hey crew, I'm your instructor Shay, and welcome to your 10 minute City Row Matt Pilates class. With City Row, you get cardio, strength, mobility, endurance, and stretching. Everything you need. In our Pilates classes, we focus on movements that will improve your posture, encourage better alignment, and give you a killer abdominal burn. Matt Pilates is the perfect complement to rowing and will make you even stronger on the machine. More on that in a minute. I'm so excited to take you through this class. Grab a mat and let's get started. Lay on your back to start. So once you're on your back, take your heels pretty close to your fingertips. Now in Pilates, things are blocked. This block would be considered spinal articulation. So first thing you do, push your low back down. Your tailbone starts to come towards your chin. Peel your spine up one bone at a time. Pause. You might have done a glute bridge in your life, more of a Pilates bridge. I want you to think of this as more abs. Ribs closed, glutes and hamstrings squeezed, feet pressing into the floor. Now sink down one vertebrae at a time. So we're feeling that spinal articulation, but what else are we feeling? Let's do four more. The hamstrings and the glutes, right? Now in rowing, where does most of our power come from? Our hamstrings and our glutes. So the more that we can strengthen those muscles, the more power we'll be able to achieve on the machine. While well, you're not even rowing, look at that. Three more. This also is gonna lengthen your spine if you're feeling any sort of crunchiness, any sort of tightness, which let's be real, who doesn't have tightness in their back? Peel it up, let's hold it here. Now, without shifting too much, take your left leg to tabletop, hold. Tap that toe down, lift it up, five. Hip flexor stability, four. You know when you're rowing slow, three, and you feel like you can't control it, Two, this is gonna help. One, put that foot down. Re-engage, lift up even more. Right toes up. One, can you pull your belly button in? Hinge, bring it up. Two, really your whole body is working here. Three, four, are you breathing? Five, bring your foot down, lift your hips. Let's do 10 pulses, 10, nine, Eight, knees in line with your second toe. This is six, five, four, three, two, hold. Make this as slow as you can, one bone at a time. Like a string of pearls being laid in the sand and neutral. Right into some abs, bring your knees to tabletop, fingertips to the ceiling. As your hands go behind you, ribs stay down. Now exhale to curl your head, neck, and chest up. Hands are by your hips. Now hands start, they pass your knees, head, neck, and chest go down. Another real honest moment, who doesn't want abs, right? Everything stems from your core. So the stronger we make our core, the stronger our rowing will be. The stronger we'll be able to sit in a chair with nice posture. The little things in life. One more. I want you to hold it up. Let's build a little more heat. Option, straighten the legs. Pump the arms, go down, 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 down. Start to add your breath. It's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Are we feeling it? Give me 10 more. This is five, four, three, two, freeze. Knees in, head, neck, and chest lower down. Leave your knees where they are. Take your hands behind your head. Now, what do we do in a crunch that I don't wanna see? It's this. Are your abs working? No. So make your hands a basket to support your head. I want you to think about your spine going out to curl up. Now maintain this height as you twist. Your elbow should be going towards your knee. Now when you come to center, lift up and then twist. Ooh, a lot different than your classic bicycle, right? So now it's more oblique focused, still part of your core. <sighs> Give me one more each side. Are you breathing? 
and back to center. Lower down. Okay, come up. We're gonna do what is called rolling like a ball. So, it's a little silly, but let's think about our mind and our body connection. I'm sure when you've been rowing or when you're working out at all, your brain is telling your body to do something and it's not working out, right? So I think Pilates is one of the best ways to get that mind-body connection. It's small movements, it's particular movements. This is what you're gonna find in your rolling like a ball. So come to your tailbone, knees as wide as your shoulders, hands on your shins. Tuck your belly button under and lift your toes. So not only is this abs, we're also feeling that hip flexor control. Roll to the tips of your shoulder blades, come back up, balance. Yeah, press your shins into your hands, hold. So spinal articulation, core, hip flexor control. If you want to level up and get a little crazy, extend one leg, extend the other leg. Let's try it twice. Come up and hold. This is an advanced version, but there's so many things that we can do in Pilates. Bring your legs together, bend your knees, and bring it down. Flip and lay on your side. So rowing, what motion is it? Front to back. What do we do when we walk? Front to back. What do we do when we run? Front to back. What do we do when we spin? Front to back. So in order to balance our bodies out and be better at that front to back motion, we have to work side to side, work that outer hip, the outer muscles. So bring your knees bent, heels in line with your butt. Take your top hip away. Now heels together, open your hip. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, you're not letting your hip roll open. Three, two, just one. Now take your top leg in front of your bottom leg, a little funky of a position. Grab onto your shin or your ankle. Flex your bottom foot, lift it up. Eight, seven, again, we work those larger muscle groups so often. Why not get these synergistic muscle groups? These inner thighs. Give me four more. Three, two, hold it up on one pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Now, of course, in a longer class, we'd really dig into that a little bit deeper. But let's go to the other side. So laying on your other side, Stacking your body, really find that perfect position. Top hip presses away. Now open, eight. One side might feel different than the other, seven. Pilates is a great way to even your body out. Four, and fix those imbalances. Five, six, seven, eight. Now bring that leg in front, flex your bottom foot, heel to the ceiling, up. As big as you can. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up on one. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's lay on our stomach. So if we work the front side of our body, our core, we also need to work the back side of our body. When we row, we don't necessarily think about our posture at the front of our brains, right? That's not our main focus necessarily, but we do have to think about it in everyday life. So doing this upper back work is gonna feel very subtle, maybe a little frustrating, but it's gonna change the way that you present yourself in all aspects of life. So come to your belly, heels together, hands under your shoulders. Now pull your elbows back and down, squeeze your butt, lift your belly button. So this isn't about your low back, it's about your upper back. Roll an imaginary marble away with your nose. Reach out, out, out. Now you're reaching out so far that you have nowhere to go but slightly up. From your bra strap, or gentlemen, you know that area, or higher, hands are light. Now reach out to lower down. Let's take two more. Shoulders back, roll. Maybe you lift your hands, just feel it. Down, lower down. One more. 
Maybe lift the hands. And come down. Bring it up to all fours. We do planks a lot at City Row. So let's work on our planks just a little bit more. Come to all fours. Shoulders on top of wrists. One foot back, the other foot back. Hold. Let's go from toe to head. Ankles are squeezing. We worked those inner thighs. Can you zip them together? We worked on abs. Can you lift your low belly up? Squeeze your butt. We did upper back. Can you press your upper back puffier to the ceiling? Yes, now don't drop your chin. Good, you got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, city row, five, four, three, two, and child's pose. Bring it back to your heels. Whew, even from that 10 minutes, I feel better, I feel longer, I feel stronger. That is Pilates for you. I really hope you enjoyed this class. Download our app for a free trial to get access to all of our classes. We have multiple class types, links, and levels with new releases every day. See you next time.